President Yule Kakuta Amseveni has today joined other Christians at All Saints Cathedral Nakasero in a fundraising service for the new cathedral construction project. The president visited the new cathedral construction site and gave 50 million shillings in cash out of the 500 million pledge. congratulated the Christians for having considered the expansion of the existing cathedral structure. I'm very glad I want to congratulate you for being convicted to build a, a bigger house for the Lord. The president urged educated Christians to think of ways of developing the country and asked them to teach poor Christians how to work. You Christians who live among these people who are not educated, who don't have their own eyes to see what should be done. It is your duty to wake them up, to get them out of poverty. He added that by doing this, they would be following the example of Christ, who was a carpenter, fed the hungry, preached the word, and healed the sick. The president was happy to note that it was the revival movement that had instilled discipline in the people in his Bad home thing. area of Ankole. So the revival movement really helped. When you hear that the population of Ankole is now big, it was because of the revival movement. He advised Christians to refrain from the bad attitude of saying that they are mere visitors on earth and so everything on earth was dust. We are visitors here on earth. We are just going through. Our real home is in heaven. So here, and then they would say, if yes, no shame. If yes, no shame. Why do things are Worthless. They are like dust. They are like dust. He further said that Christians must love without selfishness and refrain from doing evil as the commandment was given to them by Jesus. All the commandments are summarized in two. Love God with all your heart and with all your might and love your neighbor as you love yourself. The Archbishop of Church of Uganda, the Most Reverend Stanley Ntagali, thanked the President for his support, partnership and friendship to the Church of Uganda. The Church is always grateful for the continuous partnership with the government and support of the President in serving the immense community needs of Ugandans and all people living in the country. At this, at this cosmopolitan cathedral, we continue to diligently serve a diverse people from the city, the entire country, and international communities. He expressed gratitude for the president's previous contribution of 50 million shillings towards phase one of the cathedral's building project. He explained that the church had embarked on a new building project because they had a challenge of space constraints that could not accommodate the ever-growing church members. He added that the new church would be able to seat 5,000 people per service, have adequate space for offices, and considerable public space. Parliamentary Speaker, the Right Honorable Rebecca Litwara Kadaga, and Minister of Kampala, Honorable Betty Namisangu Kamia, among other dignitaries, attended the function. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord and Lord. I'm Dennis Blair Kalanzi in Kampala.